Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another PC build. This one, as you can tell, because it's today, is all centered around the Ryzen 2700X. This is my 4K gaming build. And this is to showcase, yes, as you are seeing it right there, I'm gaming on my 4K TV. And you're going, well, really? Yeah, yeah, exactly, because I can. And this is, of course, it's at Samsung Q9F, which of course gives me, of course, that nice, good, refreshing gameplay look. And I figured I might as well test this system out to the max. So everything you're gonna see footage-wise is in 4K off this build. And what do we have in this build? We've got a lot of parts here. I want to thank AMD first for sending this over so we can actually test it out and see what we have. And also want to thank the other uh, guys like Thermaltake and Kingston for sending parts that we can actually use in this build. So what do we have starting off the case? It's very simple, it's a V22 case, not too flashy, it's got a window see-through, which allows me to look in and see all those RGB lights right there. Those are some really cool lights. Those, of course, the RGB lighting on the fan, as well as also the cooling itself from Thermaltake. That's all Thermaltake there. Um, and you can actually sync and light them all together. I really like it, it's really cool, but also, um, yeah, I might want to turn it off before I go to bed because it was like all over the place. That being said, the power supply is an 850 watt power supply from Thermaltake as well. That should handle everything I need on this build. So we've got our Ryzen 2700X, which is all mounted on the Aorus X470 Gaming 7 Wi-Fi motherboard. This is an AM4 uh, chipset motherboard. So of course, the Ryzen, 2 20, the Ryzen 2700X supports the same chipset from last year, which is great. But if you want to get something new, spanky and fresh, you can get this. I like this board though, I really do, because it's got a lot of nice bells and whistles. Wi-Fi built-in, AC, so if you want to use Wi-Fi in there. Uh, you've also got an ESS Sabre DAC. Yeah, you heard that right. It's an ESS Sabre DAC, which means I can get high-res audio off this bad boy. I don't have to do anything externally. I do like that. I love the fact that it does have that. It's got it through the front audio ports, the rear, as well as also through the USB ports, the yellow ones, by the way, where you can actually get some premium audio. You also got two M.2 M slots, so I can actually connect my two NVMEs from Kingston. I'm running two, so I'm running my Windows uh, operating system off the K1000 series, we should do 2700 megahertz in terms of read speeds and write speeds about 1700. I was getting about 1800 to about you know uh, 1500, something roughly around that range. Uh, but the A series, which is the budget line, which I'm using for storage and putting my games on, that's about 30. I was getting about 1300 to 800, which is actually pretty good for something that priced that low. So if you want to pick up any of these parts. Check out our description down below. Now, the graphics card is the Zotac AMP um, GTX 1080 Ti. 1080Ti's are still expensive. Our graphics cards are expensive out there, just saying, but it's a really solid card. I like the way it performs. And talking about performance, this thing does a fantastic job. If you're a gamer and you're looking to actually build something that does well, you might want to look at this. I'm just, just saying that out there because I think what AMD has done with the Ryzen processor, especially with the Ryzen 2700X, as it improves from the 1700X, is just you just get that extra boost in performance. Talking about 30%, you know, the more, uh, you've got, of course, you still got the same amount of cores, but you're just getting performance, better performance from each core. And speaking of which, it's all about gaming. So we played on the TV. 4k gaming and I gotta tell you first things first we ran Battlefield 1 stayed at 60 frames per second logged it was on ultra this thing ran well and it ran smooth and I died quite a bit but you can clearly tell that this game ran really well on the system and I didn't you know and I think one of the things I enjoyed was the fact that I could actually sit down on my couch, my wireless keyboard and mouse, and just game and enjoy. So the next game we got to play was Call of Duty World War II. Now this of course was running at max resolution, playing at 4K, and it did a solid 60 frames per second. This thing was really nice, it was good, it looked clear, sharp. Yes, I died quite a bit, but you can see how well the 2700X is handling, especially when you're trying to max out and get some really solid 4K gameplay. Now, next up is Fortnite. Now, we all know everybody loves Fortnite. Everyone's playing it, except me, of course, but we got to check out Fortnite, see how it is, how it runs in, of course, on our system here, the 2700X system, and it does really well, uh, 120 frames per second, 4K resolution on that massive uh, Samsung TV. I gotta say though, I, I enjoyed it, it was quite impressive. 
uh, and it just handled well. So I think a lot of games you would like to play, this system will just handle it very well for you, at least at 4K resolution. Now, next up, we got to play some uh, Gears of War 4, uh, which of course is on the Xbox One, but you can play it on PC. And we, uh, basically our settings, we're getting about 52, between 48 to 52 frames per second, which is actually pretty good. It's a very intensive game, especially on the PC. Uh, we got to, of course, uh, see how crisp and clear it looks and uh, also handled pretty well. But our final game was Doom and Doom really impressed. 4K on the TV, uh, we're doing almost up to 200 frames per second on this thing. <sighs> Man, it, 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 it looked good, it played well, and I have to say, I really enjoyed this build. I enjoyed making the build, I enjoyed playing games on this build because I'm maxing out, um, I'm, I'm getting you know the best. So even if I was just playing on my monitor, which is a 2K monitor, um, I would be getting some ridiculous frame rates at that, especially playing at Ultra. So I think a lot of people will like this. And one thing I like about the Ryzen 2700X is that of course it's got the AM, AM4 socket, which means that, you know what, if you had a Ryzen build from last year, you can just basically pop and change your chips and that's it. You don't have to buy a new motherboard, but if you want to get the bells and whistles, you can use one of these new motherboards. I have a lot more functionality for you. But again, it just shows you how well the Ryzen system is. I like it. Um, I think a lot of people will, but if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. If you're wondering if it will run any game you want to run, yes, it will. Um, if you're looking to buy, buy, buy or build a PC similar, we'll leave all the parts for you down below so you can go ahead and check it out. Otherwise, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.